Hi, I'm Shannon Swartz with Swartz Team at my home group, and I'm sitting down with Scott Green with Signature Home Loans. Scott has helped many of our buyers over the past 20 years purchase homes. And what we want to talk about now is how the market has changed in relation to buyers over the past 12 months. Let's talk about some of those changes. First of all, for buyers, we are really happy to see that inventory has increased. Inventory right now is standing at about just under 16,000 homes active on the market. Now that might sound like a lot, but it really isn't for our market area, but it is certainly better than 5,000, even a little less than 5,000 homes were on the market about 12 months ago. So that's good news. Also, homes are staying on the market longer. We are seeing much fewer multiple offers. Also great news. So as a result of fewer multiple offer situations, we are seeing less homes being sold over list price. Another great trend we're seeing for buyers is the increased seller concessions. That's when the seller is contributing to the buyer's closing costs. About a year ago, we would have this only in 10 to 12% of the home sales, but last month, 50% of the homes that sold involved seller paid closing costs. And the median amount was 9,700. Those are some great things for buyers that are happening in the market. However, I think we can all agree that the challenge right now has been the increased interest rates. So Scott, give me some thoughts on how buyers can approach this market to purchase a home given we have higher interest rates right now. The interest rates are higher right now. We've seen interest rates increase over the last three weeks, almost seven eighths of a point. So we feel like within the next year, interest rates will come down and someone that buys a house right now would be able to refinance and lower that payment. So we're recommending to negotiate more of loan cost as opposed to sell price. And so you can hold on to your money to supplement your monthly payments. So you could negotiate your loan cost, or you can negotiate what we call a 2-1 buy-down. So a 2-1 buy-down would be, let's just say, for example, the interest rate 6.75. A 2-1 buy-down, the first year interest rate is going to be 4.75. Your second year interest rate is going to be 5.75. So you're going to have a quite a bit of a difference in the payment your first year. Then you can wait. When the interest rates get down lower, you can refinance. And so you're going to be in a really good position right now if you're buying. Okay. Something that we have noticed over the past year or two years has been when interest rates go down, that spurs on buying activity. That's right. And that is when there tend to be more multiple offer situations. And then it's challenging to buy a home. We all love to see the low interest rates at the same time. A really low interest rate doesn't help if you don't have a contract. That's right. So there are benefits of less buying activity that the higher rates have brought on. I am glad we can help our buyers negotiate those seller pay concessions to help them get into a home and then basically address the interest rate at a later time. Shannon, we've worked with one of your customers. He was out for at least 10 days looking for homes, made an offer on a home. And I was surprised actually at the low price that he got for the home and the seller concessions. Right. Today, I received another contract from another real estate agent where their first time home buyer put in an offer. It was accepted and the seller was going to pay 3% of the sale price towards this loan right. cost. It's added up to almost $10,000. Right. So. They're negotiating right now. We've never saw that before. We didn't see that one year ago. There was no exactly. way that was going to happen. Exactly. And a few things that are also great about this market right now for buyers is one, it's nice that repairs are actually being done. 12 months ago, you almost had to write in the contract that the home would be accepted as is, but actually we would never advise our buyers to be put in a position that they were stuck with a home that actually didn't measure up in terms of quality or construction or defects or anything. But we have been able to request repairs and, and have them completed. So that's great. Also, there were things like appraisal contingency waivers that many were using those to help get a home and we're not having to see those right now. So that's great. That's right. 
more standard real estate negotiation, and that often plays in the favor of the buyer. Also, so much is case by case, something we look at when we're working with our buyers. How many days has the home been on the market? Those are things that we're going to consider when we're writing an offer. Has it been on and off the market? Have there been canceled contracts? Something else that is in favor of the buyers is that there has been less cash investor activity. There's certainly investors are out there competing, but it is much less than it was about 12 months ago. Some of the oh. iBuyers like Open Door and OfferPad, they've purchased a lot of homes and they have slowed down their acquisition. They are purchasing less homes. We have our owner occupant buyers having less competition, which is great. And that is enabling many of our buyers to get into homes. That's correct. And plus notice it's people buying second homes in the yeah. Phoenix metropolitan area. Those interest rates have gone up. Which are about one and a half percent higher than just your normal rates. If someone's buying a house as a primary residence, interest rates, they are a little bit higher than what we'd like to see. Sure. But they're not higher where you can't buy a home. Scott, thank you so much for taking the time to share some of this information. And we'll have everyone reach out to you if they have any questions. I appreciate your time and thank you so much.